Turning Pro is a do-it-yourself landscape and irrigation installation video series developed by landscape professionals to enable anyone to design and build their own residential landscape projects. Regular and consistent watering will allow lawns and plants to establish healthy root systems and become more resistant to disease and injury. You will learn how to install a pop-up sprinkler system for lawns. These heads are matched precipitation pop-up sprinklers. This means you will have even water coverage over your grass area and one quarter, one half, and full pattern sprinkler heads can be piped together. Turn your tap wide open and record the time it takes to fill the bucket. Divide those seconds into 60 seconds. Multiply this number times the number of gallons in your bucket. This optimum flow rate is determined by the valve's physical capabilities. Most valves can be adjusted using the flow control knob. The more water pushed through a valve, the more stress and wear and tear you will have upon its internal parts. Let's go over the tools needed for this project. PVC cutter makes it easy to cut PVC pipe of one half inch to one inch diameter. Beginning with zone one, we are connecting all lines from the sprinkler head location back to a main trunk line that will run back to the valve area. Here to guide you through the installation process is Keith Hagman, a landscape contractor with over 30 years of experience in the field of landscape construction. When we heat this up, the gas is going to expand. It's going to create some pressure in the pipe. We need to have a way for this to, ex to leave and escape so that we don't have bubbling of the solder and create a leak. Putting the risers on, we want to make sure that you keep these risers good and straight. Straight up and down. So when you glue it on, Set it down in the trench and make sure that it's straight up and down. We just finished piping zone one. Put all the risers in straight. We got all our fittings in. That so zone is all complete. Now we're going to come all the way back here to the valve and do our final glue joint right here to the zone one valve. We take this, the control wire now. We twist that together. Same thing like we did for our common wire. Put the brass crimp sleeve over it. The smaller the pipe that you solder, the easier this really is. Turn it over, let's heat the other side a little bit. We have shown you how simple the installation can be when you know the steps and methods experienced landscape professionals use. We believe that you can now install your own system with confidence and achieve truly professional results. For more information on Turning Pro and our products, please visit our website. E possono creare enormi problemi durante la fabbricazione. Le particelle hanno le dimensioni di mezzo micron o mezzo millionesimo di metro di diametro e potrebbero creare un cortocircuito. Questo numero è usato per identificare un modello viene impresso sopra il materiale fotoresistente e sviluppato o photomask el stepper alinea al photomask perfectamente hacia el wafer abre una hendidura y expone la imagen cambiado químicamente haciéndolo soluble en el revelador una manera que el fotoresis es removido del wafer es utilizando una mezcla de ácido sulfúrico y agua oxigenada conocido comúnmente como piraña esto disuelve cualquier cosa orgánica muy rápido los wafers son bajados a un tanque y en dos o tres minutos Wafer fabrication requires a large number of gases, liquids, clean water, clean air, and many other kinds of resources to support the process. These resources arrive through the subfab, an area located underneath the fab itself. Making deionized water takes many steps. City water comes in and goes through two diatomaceous earth filters and a carbon filter, a water heater, two pre-filters, three reverse osmosis vessels to a tank, out of the tank to two mixed beds with resins to deionize the water.